Well, after cleaning out uh, a bunch of debris from my wife's desk here, the computer I have unearthed, <laughs> I'm getting ready to open it up. Actually, I've already done some upgrades to it. I didn't make a video because I wasn't sure if it was all going to work, but now that it has, I'll just go ahead and show you what I did. So uh, I'll go ahead and get the lid off here, which it's kind of complicated. You know, push down, and I'm going to need two hands, so hold on. Okay. Now, get this out of the way. Okay, uh, I don't have a whole lot of light here to work with, but uh, what I did, I added a video card, also added a fan, and I added some more RAM down here. So let me uh, figure out how I did this. I'm gonna push, uh, push the this drive back. There we go. So I can at least try to get that. Oh man, do this with two hands, no problem. One hand, my gosh, it's like a pain. There we go. This drive, just flip it up out of the way. Then we got this little lever here. Uh, this is, by the way, an HP Compact something. Um, I don't know what the model number is. I have to look for it, but I'll either find it or I'll put it in the description. Move this little flap out of the way and you can access your RAM sticks. Now this thing had two gigs in it. I went ahead and added three. Um, it was basically four, five, twelve sticks. So I took all of them out because they were matching and I put a matching set of uh, Samsung uh, sticks in there. Two one gig and two five twelve gigs to give it three total. Uh, this is running the 32-bit operating system on uh, of Windows 7. So, that installed and everything went good there. Added a video card. This is the ATI 300X um, video card. I uh, got this from my brother and a bunch of stuff that he brought me. And this is one of the pieces that I salvaged out of that and uh, installed it. No problem at all with that either. And final thing I did was rig up a fan in here. Now, of course, I've done some rigs similar to the Dell Optiplex GX620s. Um, and this is another rig that I did. Basically, there was only one SATA connection. Luckily, I had a male uh, end that split off. It was like a Y connection. So this is the male end here that goes into the power supply there. And, of course, I'm going to need two hands. So let me do this real quick. Plug it back up. Uh, there we go. So that's back together. Use the four pin Molex connection that I had. Uh, actually, this wire came from another fan that was locked up, so I threw the fan away, but I kept the wire. And just for this reason, I could splice it together uh, using the barrel connectors here. So it'll work. And uh, yeah. So that's, this is actually a pretty smooth setup. It took me a little while. Um, again, this is a 60 millimeter fan uh, for exhaust because, again, it's the same setup as uh, the flat, you know, compact Optiplexes that uh, the airflow, there's not a, just not a whole lot of airflow in there. Um, this one's got a few extra SATA. Uh, connections on it, but as compact as it is, you really don't need those. Um, so yeah, RAM is installed. I'll just go ahead and put this all back together before I start it up. Put the disk drive back in. And it slides in a certain way like that. And then should slide forward. There we go. Locks it in place. So that's all back together. And video card is already installed. Already got updates for it as well. So, again, just not a whole lot to really show, but uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. And there's the fan, it's working, if you can even see the blade turning, because there's like no light, but it's turning. So, yep, I feel it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is my wife's desktop computer. It's been running kind of slow, so I'm just doing some hardware upgrades, you know, one more gig of RAM, adding a video card to it, and seems to be helping some. So, yeah, just a quick rundown, waiting for this thing to boot up, and I'll show you the specs in the system. 
All right, so we're getting to the system. Check out the specs on it. Compact, yeah, this one's got the AMD Athlon 64 X2 dual core processor, 4400 plus, which equates to a 2.3 gig uh, processor, approximately. Three gigs of RAM. I um, actually haven't done a updated um, manufacturer rating since I added that video card. 32-bit operating system, Windows 7, Compaq, and Windows 7 Professional. Um, yeah, Service Pack 1. So let's go ahead and do a quick rating review. Let's do a refresh and see what we come up with. probably take a little bit here so stand by. See currently we got a 4.9, 4.9, what do we got here? Move this out of the way. Processor calculations 4.9, memory 4.9, graphics 2.6, that's the lowest. Uh, gaming graphics which we don't use 3.2 and the hard disk is a 5.3. So yeah, I mean it's okay. You know, but this is mostly just for tax work and stuff like that. So we'll uh, see what the improvements give it here. All right, well it's about done. Let's see what it gives us. Huh? Graphics dropped to a one. Wow. Well, no improvement there. Man, I thought I was doing something good with that uh, video card, but uh, guess not. Oh well, we'll give it a shot. I mean, onboard video was fluctuating a good bit, and you know, uh, I, you know again, it was just acting kind of finicky. So um, I figured adding a, some sort of video card would help, but uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe this is uh, well, according to the rating, it's probably going to hurt it some. But oh well, I'm going to go ahead and run with it, and see how it does. If I have to pull it out, I'll pull it out. No big deal. So there you go, just a quick rundown on a uh, uh, HP Compaq uh, desktop computer. I don't know the model number, and I can't seem to find it anywhere, so I'll figure it out somewhere and uh, put it in the description, I guess. So, oh well, there you go, just a quick rundown on, a, on upgrading, you know, what I thought was upgrading. Uh, a desktop computer, you know, trying to help my wife out with uh, some glitches she's been having with her system. So, you know, definitely needed more RAM. I think that was a help. And, um, you know, I don't know. Video card, well, <laughs> oh well, with the ventilation, that'll help too. So, anyway, enough rambling. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.